Hello, 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 y'all. Welcome to another episode of Vlogmas. I wanted to give you a better look at all the Christmas decorations outside my condo. So this is my condo, and they did this all on their own. I didn't have to lift a finger. They said, can we use an extension cord and use your power for your lights? And I said, knock yourself out. So honey, here's my house. Oh, this got knocked over. Oh wait, no, this is just, yeah, this got knocked over. Hold on, y'all. There we go. Isn't that better? Um, this is obviously the little, this is our mailbox, our condo mailbox. Um, and I showed you this, but it's a little peanut mailbox. Come on out. So cute. Um, we've got, I actually bought this two Christmases ago and they're, they're using it, which is great. I bought this cat. I didn't buy the whole thing, but this is at the road. And it's a little cat on the sleigh. How cute. And then we've got these three little guys. Um, let me show you the other side of the road. So there's one, two, three, four condos, and then more condos up there. There's four more, I believe. So it's a pretty small complex. <clears throat> Here we have our Merry Christmas with Christ illuminated as we pull in. I mean, they're trying to make this like a destination type Christmas house. That thing fell again. I've got to fix that. Um, over here, we've got a little unicorn. Some beautiful lights. Flashing lights. They're going to be like, why is Tyler wandering around the outside? A little row of Christmas trees, snowman, tree. That's that little thing. Isn't that cute? Got a little bear and some little creatures. And honey, we're back at my house. There it is. All right, I'll see you for the mukbang. My arms are sore, y'all, from trying to get this camera set up for the mukbang. So it's not perfect, but it's what we're working with. And I know y'all don't care about the food, you just care about the conversation with me. Honey, I went to Food City, a grocery store in our area, and I got meatloaf, green beans, dressing, and nini. Go away. I love her, but anytime there's chicken, she's a psychopath. Meatloaf, dressing and chicken, green beans, and a crescent roll. I need some definite hand spray because honey, I just got done at the hot yoga. But I'm starving out of my mind. Auburn, okay. Um, I, I've got to get into this. I've got to get into this meatloaf, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. Nicely flavored. I have not had meatloaf in a long time. It was absolutely starving. This is basically the first real food I've had all day. Mmm. I like my green beans highly seasoned and cooked down to absolute mush. <sighs> Excuse me, let me see if there's anything I can do to help this situation. Not really, y'all. You're just going to have to go with it. I'm going to talk about some books after this. Mmm. That topping's good, but hold that thought because I gotta get some ketchup. And honey, I could edit that out, but that would take too much work. Take too much effort. And you know what I think I'm gonna do? 
I think I'm gonna use a little bit of ketchup and a little bit of Bulldak hot sauce. If y'all are familiar with like the hot ramen challenge, you can actually buy the sauce. This is the um, carbonara version and I love it on almost everything. So what I'm gonna do is drizzle just a little bit of that on the top with some ketchup. My ketchup has to be shaken up because I cannot stand the thought of watery ketchup coming out. Honey, if you're gonna eat meatloaf, you gotta cover it in ketchup, in my opinion. And then we're gonna try the dressing, honey, because let me tell you something. If there's one thing I will eat year round, doesn't matter what time of season it is, it's a uh, Southern dressing. Mm. Ooh, that Bulldog sauce, honey, gave it exactly what it needed. That's delicious. Mm. Y'all, <clears throat> this meal, and let me show you again. I wish I could set this on something. Let me try this. Is that doing anything for anybody? Not really. I really need this to be elevated now. Donna, I'm, I'm using your uplifting moments to uplift my meatloaf, and then we're gonna talk about your book. Look at that. Okay. Let's try this croissant. Mmm. Yum. Oh, so you get meat and two sides and bread for $7. That's a bargain. Here is the delicious Southern dressing covered with chicken. I'm gonna give Nini a bite. She loves plain chicken. She thinks she'll love this. You think you'll love this, but it has gravy on it, so I doubt it. Mm. That dressing is absolutely delicious. Nini, come here. Hey, here. Nini. She was just over here, y'all. Here, chicken. Come on. Here. Here. Come on. Gray won't eat it, so don't even come at me, y'all. Come here, Nini. I'm gonna eat it. You've got five seconds to show interest. Oh, she's laid down. I'll give her some if she comes over here, y'all. Um... Happy Wednesday, my little Vlogmas angels. Mm. I can't wait to tell Mackenzie <clears throat> about this. Because, honey, let me tell you something. We love cafeteria food. Give me a meat, two sides, and a bread any day over any restaurant. Mm. Those green beans are perfectly cooked. <sighs> also, the Kroger Zero Sugar Ginger Ale, pretty good. Now, is it as good as Canada Dry? No, but the Canada Dry's weren't on sale, and I was either going to pay $7.99 for a 12-pack of those or $3.99 for a 12-pack of these. I did, however, stock up at the grocery store tonight when I got this food, and I got a cherry 7-Up Zero Sugar, 7-Up Zero Sugar, Ginger Ale Zero Sugar. So, name brand is back on the menu, honey. Gray's in the litter box. Speaking of litter box, I, if you're a cat owner, you'll appreciate what I'm about to tell you. I have found a litter that has quite literally, I can't tell you how good that is. Quite literally changed my life. I used to be a big proponent of scoop away. Not fresh step, but scoop away. I used that for years and years and years. Um, the problem with that is that over time, it starts to stink, just like anything else does. It's also very heavy. 
So when it came time, when I would want to throw it all away, I would have to go up there, get the whole thing, bring it downstairs, try to put it in the dumpster, try to put it in a big trash bag. It weighed 400 pounds. It was a nightmare. And I finally thought, I'm not doing that anymore. So I got on a new litter called, and it's by, I want to say it's Fresh Steps. I'm almost positive it's Fresh Steps. It's not Scoop Away. <clears throat> but it's Crystal. It's like the Pretty Litter, if you've seen that advertised, but cheaper. And it looks like little aquarium gravel is the only thing I know how to describe it. And when I tell you, there's no smell. I mean, there is zero smell. It's super lightweight and you basically just use it for a month. And then after that month, you throw everything away. I mean, of course you have to scoop out the poop. Sorry, this is graphic. Of course you have to scoop out the number twos, but it absorbs number ones. And I just, I'm thrilled with it. It is so lightweight and I could have my nose in the litter box and would not smell a thing. Here comes Nini. Do you want some chicken or not? Come on, here. Come on, Nini. Just threw her a piece of chicken. We'll see if she eats it. She's thinking about it. She's so picky. She's licking the gravy. She licked it. She's back. That's chicken. Oi. This cat, honey. This child of mine. Anybody else have problem with problems with their firstborn? Because mine's sassy. Also, I neglected to tell y'all last time, when I was telling you about Donna's books, I forgot to put this stuff in the description. I'm going to do it on this video, but I also want to show you the books. She's eating it. It's a Christmas miracle. That meatloaf is delicious. Bravo, Food City. I told you you'd like it. It's chicken. You want more? Come here. Here. Come on. Come on. Come here. Gray will not eat any table food except for whipped cream. Sometimes ice cream. But honey, she's pretty picky. Mmm. Like croissant. This whole meal. Remember when I had Panda Express and it was a fail? $7 from Food City has completely made up for that fail. I can't get over it. That might be the best find in the Tri-Cities. Also, local people. You can go in the store and get that. You can also get it on DoorDash. Who knew? Yes, you can. Mm. This is also known as dressing, because technically stuffing would be stuffing it in the bird. This is Southern dressing. Mm. The flavors. I feel like Lady T, the flavor. The flavor. It's so good. Mmm. Y'all, dressing is one of my favorite foods of all time. I hate that you can only really get it around this time of year, which is strange. When I tell you this is doing everything for me, I mean it. I know I'm going on and on about this grocery store food, but honey, it's changing me. Vlogmas is going well. I hope everybody's Christmas season is going well. Oh, I'm getting full. 
But honey, that ain't gonna stop me. I am not leaving this. I can assure you of that. Mm. Dang it. <clears throat> honey, since, oh, there's Nene. You want another bite? I'll share with you. Cause I love you. You're very picky and you are very mischievous, but I'll give you some chicken. Come here. Come on. Here. It's chicken. Come on. Um, anyway. The gravy, too, reminds me of, if y'all were in elementary school, when they would serve dressing, you would get it with, like, this neon yellow gravy, or maybe at least that was just me in Sullivan County Schools. That's what this is. This is the vibe that it's giving. I think that's why I love cafeteria food so much, because it's such a throwback to, like, school days. And who doesn't want it? I wanted the chicken tenders, but they were out. Mm. Okay, I'm getting full. Got two more bites of this. I can do it. Mm. I'm so sorry for being so overly crazy about this meal, but y'all, this has been one of the best meals I've had in recent memories. I'm thrilled. Mm. If you are local and have a food city near you, run, don't walk, and get you a $7 plate from the deli. Okay, <clears throat> let me show you the books. These are two devotionals from Donna's Journey. Many of y'all probably watch her channel. This first one is called Uplifting Moments, Positive Words to Uplift, Encourage, Inspire, and Motivate Your Day. Moments to Embrace and Choose a Joyful, Positive, and Blessed Life on All Purpose by Donna Anderson. The thing I love about this, first of all, I love the way it looks. Um, I love that it's thin. Sometimes I get overwhelmed if things are too long. Um, and in there, it just gives you short little bite-sized devotions. My plan is going to be to read these at breakfast. Or, well, I don't really eat breakfast, but breakfast time with my coffee. And I'm just going to read you this one short one. This one is called Moments 21, No Limits. Don't allow other people's words to limit you. What they say means absolutely nothing on when, how, and if you succeed. No one can set limits for you, or no one can set limits on your life for what God has in store for you. If you believe it, you can achieve it. Let people talk and say what they want to say. Just because they say it does not make it the truth. Remember, this is your journey, so you do you. What God has for you is for you. Keep being your great self and go for what you want. You got this. I love that, and I love her. And then she has a Bible verse. It's um, Ephesians, Ephesians, Ephesians 3.20. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. So that's just a little excerpt from her book. They're very affordable. They would make great Christmas gifts, great stocking stuffers. This next one's called Reflection in Plate, Reflections in Faith. God's got you, so you got this. So those are the two books. And I want you to check them out on Amazon. I will put the link below. Thank you for sending me these, Donna. I love you. And I can't wait to read through them. Okay, Nene's down here eating the rest of her chicken. I'm going to go clean up this mess. Thank you all so much for watching, coming, and having a little bite to eat with me. <clears throat> I love you and I mean it. I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 8. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Do all the things. Let me know how your day's going. I love you and I do mean it. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.